add some intelligence. Just so I can lord my smartness over other shadow runners. <laughs> so what's what skill scales the highest? What do you mean? Because I'm seeing like throwing weapons goes up to seventeen. Oh yeah, oh, it's some of, some of it depends on like uh like different races have different uh limits for different stats, I think. I see. Like elves can have more quickness than is possible for like a, a human. Right. That makes sense. Let's see. Actually, yeah, I have. Bo I'm gonna get more body. Now I have forty hit points and quickness. All right, that's all of it. Nice. Okay. See what cyberware I have. Data jack. Oh, that's right. I had my legs lopped off. As techno. <laughs> oh no, just the one. Just oh yeah. One leg. I guess. Basic it. Okay, yeah. It's ooh, plus one quickness and plus eight H H HP. Is it if you get both of them that you get the AP I, bonus? I don't know if you can actually. I don't. I. I don't think you can stack it. I don't know. I don't think it's actually supposed to be like you have one metal leg and one. Or I don't know. Maybe it is. Well, because it said left leg and right leg. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe if you can get different modifications or. Yeah. Oh, it's I was wondering actually. No, go ahead. V Van Grass. Hoping to get some peace and quiet tonight. You got something for me? Got a flight recorder. Wouldn't happen to be an Ares flight recorder, would it? Got some powerful buyers for that right now. I can get rid of it for you for, say, 20%? That leaves 2,000 for you. If I had adequate corporate, I could say, I know what I have, make it 2,500. But I don't have that, so, deal. Pleasure you're doing business. I always find it interesting that you can see the dialogue option. I like I much prefer where it doesn't appear unless you have the right skill. Mm. Because then it's like an actual thing, you know. Uh, versus seeing the option and knowing you have to go back Ta and do it again. Taunted but with vi visions of what can never be. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's talk to Johnny Clean here. Thanks to the semiconductor-based gene sequencing system that David employed, we should have the information we need to track the Ripper in the Matrix. I'm really impressed with his results, considering it was his first attempt. Utilizing an unproven technique he'd read about in a science journal, he was working from memory on minimal sleep. The hell? Yeah. That's great, Professor! What's the plan? <laughs> you can also just say, whatever. <laughs> That's great, Professor! What's the plan? We hit... We've, we've hit the Lone Star DNA database first to see if our donor has a prior criminal record. They have extensive DNA archives. Then we go hunting based on what we find. Let's hit the decks and jack into the Matrix. I can get into their private grid easily, but I've got to warn you, once we're in, it could get a little rough. How much checking experience do you have? And here you see you've got choices. Alright, so, decking two. I know my way around the Matrix. Great. I'll come with, just in case any IC, IC decides to crash our party. I wonder if those dialogue options make a difference. Well, I, I know last time, I, the first time I played this, I didn't have any cyber... I didn't have a data jack or anything, so he had to do it. He did it without me. Oh. Okay. I I assume, though, you, you'll get karma for actually doing it. I don't know. I, I'm hoping so. All right, I'm going in my... Oh, that's his stuff, I guess. Oh! Meanwhile, in Tron... Nice. Looks cool. Yeah, this is the... 
The arch will take us to the next node. Lone Star Data Store. The data store ahead is defended by intrusion countermeasures. See those things. White, white ice. And we have like you know, we have like programs that we can use sort of like spells. Hmm. That's cool. Like sniffer, which is like sort of the equivalent of aim. Oh, they're on to me. I thought he said he was going to come with. I know, I'm not sure. Oh, right, I'm playing as him at the moment. Why? So, I guess the question is, why am I not in? Hmm. No, it's, I don't know, it's too late to worry about it now. Alright, powerful attack at one target. Die! Why was I programmed to feel pain? <laughs> Never not gonna be funny. <laughs> oh, nice. There you go. Whoa. Did you ever see that um AI movie? Uh no. I was... With, uh, what's his name? Haley Joel Osment? Yeah, and Jude Law. It's a sad movie. Yeah. But they had, uh, I remember they had a, like, I want to say it was a Chris Rock bot. Yeah. At a, uh, bot lynching carnival or something. And, bot, like, wait, bot has... lynching carnival? Yeah. There's, like, it's, like, in the deep south area. And they're like they lynch robots to prove their humanity or something. Okay. It's very strange, but like Chris Rock, bot gets like uh, shot out of a cannon, and beforehand he's like, "Yo, little boy robot, turn off my pain sensors." Uh, that's that's what that reference makes me think of after you know, after I get over the funny part. It's actually funny you mention uh, AI, because um, uh, one of the earlier first sort of big uh, like alternate reality games mm. was this thing done to promote AI called The Beast, or, uh, which actually was not originally its, na its name. It got that name because it's like it happened to, like at one point like it, the number of files in the folder with all the stuff in it happened to have six hundred and sixty six files or something like that. So it got that name as a joke. Oh, nice. But. Okay, there was this um, alternate reality game done, cre done to promote uh, uh, the movie AI. Right. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it was actually created by uh, one Jordan Weissman, the creator of Shadowrun. Nice. Very cool. Tying it all back. Yeah, like a, yeah, Jordan Weissman. He's like he's he's. It's like I said, it's kind of weird. He's not more famous than he is because he's done an amazing amount of stuff. But yeah, yeah. In addition, in addition to creating Shadowrun and various various other things, he was sort of like one of the big sort of ah, uh, like he did. I don't, he didn't like invent it, but he was sort of like one of the big like spearheaders of like you know alternate reality games, basically. Yeah. Blast this guy! Ah, missed me. That thing's that thing's a lot more human looking than the others. Oh, okay. Meanwhile, back... Wait, what's going on here? Ah, okay. Okay, alright, now I'm jacking in. I see. I don't really have much stuff, because I... I've kind of half-assed my decking abilities. It was more of a, you know, hey, what the hell, why not kind of thing, but... We can provide a little bit of backup. The excruciating ecstasy of jacking your neural network into the digital world washes over you, grips you, 
crushes you into a singularity and expands you infinitely. You are one with the data stream. Welcome to the Matrix. You know Kung Fu. Oh, here I go. Never fear, Mr. Johnny Clean, I'm here to save you! Yes, I actually contributed. I could I actually contributed something rather than nothing. That was unexpected. Neck? Alright, hacking that data store. DNA match located. 100% match. Arrest records database. Subject, Silas Forsberg. Status, deceased. Profession, chop shop surgical assistant. Priors, breaking and entering. Two counts. Public indecency, one count. Brought in for questioning on accusations of unlicensed plastic surgery. No charges were filed. 100% match to a dead man. Let's keep looking. Hmm. Oh, that's a bit perplexing. Turn this up. Looks like we're going through the Stargate. It does. I like it. Autopsy reports. Uh oh. Well. Uh, All right, a hit. Ow. Damn. I'll save you. So I'm gonna repair. Fix that damage he suffered. Probably more. I could probably be more useful that way than actually trying to hit stuff. <laughs> Let's see. Here, he'll he'll take pity on me and boost my aim. Now this high-powered attack. It's the end of him. Alrighty. Alright. Now let's check out these autopsy records. Autopsy records. Subject, Silas Forsberg. Notes. Subject was found overdosed on half a dozen different sedatives. <clears throat> Several anti-anxiety medications were also found in his system. Face was mutilated, possibly self-inflicted. Identity could not be confirmed immediately due to the disfigurement. Had to check dental records to confirm. No next of kin. Large puncture wounds were found in several places on the body. Possibly large bore surgical needles. Ugh. Body had been decomposing for several weeks before the landlord noticed the smell and called the police when no one answered the door. This keeps just keeps getting weirder. Mm. Okay, well we've got one more uh, Stargate. Just go through. That is a lot. Yes. I think. Well, they're very close anyways. So is there, like, melee decking attacks? Not not really. It's just attack. 
all ranged. I mean, you can attack close up, but there's no really. Um, if you are able to, you should look at your Gmail. 